Hey, what's going on? Welcome again to the Facebook Ads course. Uh, today's video, we're finally going to start talking a little more about Facebook advertising, right? Facebook ads. And first, let's go ahead and get started with introduction introduction to Ads Manager because obviously you're going to need an ad account in order for you to be able to go and set up the ad besides, of course, using the boost button. But again, we're going to stay away from the boost button. We're going to go ahead and we're gonna go go ahead and learn using the actually um, ads manager to create ads as opposed to uh, using the boost button. So again, one of the requirements you're gonna need is an ads manager account and a, uh, obviously your face, Facebook business page because that's where your uh, the Facebook business page is where it's gonna be needed in order for the ad to run. Okay, so. Let me see, where's my uh, Facebook account? So on your personal profile, if I go to Facebook, I will recommend you to do this from your from your computer, right? Especially if you're following along with me, how to go in and set up your ad account and how to access. I would recommend you to do it on your computer because from your phone, obviously, it's not as comfortable. Uh, you lack features. Um, Facebook do have a separate application from your from the Facebook uh, application. It, the Ads Manager or the the Facebook Ads app it's separate from uh, your uh, the Facebook application. So you do have that option, kind of to like on the go, um, help you. Uh, you know, like, like if you want to monitor how, kind of what your ad is doing uh, to stop it and, and restart it, I think that app is good for that. Not a lot for editing, right? Because you have limited uh, options. It's not as comfortable. Um, you, you're limited on features, like I mentioned before. So uh, if you're going to use the app, don't use it to follow along with this video. Just may, mainly use it to kind of oversee your ad on the go and, and stop or get it started if you need to. Uh, do that. So, in order to access your ads account, you can go to create. If you never, um, you can go to create right in the very top. As a, again, things may change all the time with Facebook. So this is where it's at right now. You can go to create. If you haven't created your business page, go ahead and do so. Go back and watch past video. If you haven't watched it yet, how to create that? If you don't know how to do it. Um, if you never created an ad account, or if you do have one, this is how you can access. Right. Another way you can access your um, ads is um, this way, right? The little upside down triangle, um, and you can go to manage ads or create ad. Well, if I if I click on create ad, it's gonna go away. But if I go into manage ads, that's what it's gonna tell me. So if you click on manage ads, by the way, another way to access your ads account will be uh, going to the URL facebook.com forward slash ads forward slash manager. Okay, facebook.com forward slash ads forward slash manager. Um, and then uh, this is not probably what you'll see if this if it's the first time. If it's your first time, it's going to ask you which, you know, it's going to walk you through some steps to get it set up. You're going to need to add a form of payment, uh, etc. cetera. Um, if it is not your first time, then probably you'll see this. Um, you, you may want to add other people to uh, access your ad account to help you manage it and the reason why I would recommend you to uh, do that is in case you you your personal profile gets locked uh, or gets um, shut down from be able to run ads um, uh, you know you have at least a backup so if you have a family member you have a partner business partner um, add them to your ad account add them, add them to your business page as admin um, uh, you know, in a way that you are able to uh, get back into your business page or add money your account should your something happen to your personal profile. All right, uh, that's a little bit about how to access the ad manager, a little bit of overview, um, how to access that. Now, because I use something that is called business manager, I'm going to be walking you through the setup as if I was using the uh, business ad manager. Now, the difference is that uh, business ads manager uh, is more um, targeted for people that are managing multiple uh, resources within Facebook. Either be um, you know multiple pages, 
uh, business pages, multiple uh, pixels, multiple um, uh, ads accounts, um, multiple Instagram accounts. So and there are different, as you can see over here, right, there's so many different things that are available within Business Ads Manager that, you know, um, that's about the only way, about the only time you may want to use Business Ads Manager. A lot of the steps I'm going to go through, you should have access to, right, from your uh, Facebook Ads Manager. Um, if you're done and if you're curious about accessing your Business Ads Manager as well, you can go ahead and do that. Just Google Facebook Business Ads Manager is free. You know, there's nothing to, there's no additional cost that chart, Facebook is going to charge you for creating one. Um, you just basically go here. If you never created one, again, Facebook is going to take you to a landing page. It's going to ask you to log in or if you want to create one. And that's it, right? Not a big deal. All right, so let's go ahead and, and um, stop for now. That was just a quick overview that of Facebook Ads Manager. Let's see, let me just make sure that I didn't miss anything. I already talked about the roles, right? You want, may want to have multiple, more than one people. I uh, have permission to access your Ads Manager and your business page. Uh, before you get started delivering ads, you'll need a, to create a Facebook page and an ad account. I mentioned that already. Um, the ad, to access the Ads Manager, you can do so through Facebook, like I show you, or go to the URL. Or if you have a business manager, then you go into um, uh, business.facebook.com. Um, some of the things you may see when you first log in is if you want to do a switch um, creation workflow or use the quick creation option, right? This is what you see here is the guided version of creating ads. Um, the one that I use is the quick creation option. So... If you're going to follow along with me, um, I'm going to be using the quick creation option version. All right. So that's it for now. Uh, we'll be back later with some other videos. Uh, next, we're going to be getting started uh, talking more about the ad creation part of it. All right. Have a good one. Bye.